Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. It's another learning unit, and this time we got a new one, World Landmarks. All right, we're gonna go through a whole learning unit um, and make our own pops and, and about all these different landmarks around the world. And what's really cool about it is after you've completed all these different separate little pops about all um, these different landmarks, you can make a gigantic poster, uh, a map of the world with all these pop-ups inside. So you can learn a little and you can build a little and oh, it's so cool, I can't wait. Oh, this is so cool. So let's learn a little about the Grand Canyon today. The Grand Canyon was created by erosion, which is the slow, gradual destruction of something or diminution of something um, from the, the Colorado River. So the water flowing over the rock in the Grand Canyon over the course of five to six million years created that huge hole in all that rock. The Grand Canyon is in Arizona in the United States and um, it is a huge rock formation, um, a huge canyon and it is 277 miles long and 18 miles wide and it's um, over a mile deep. Ooh. Grand Canyon was continually inhabited by Native Americans and was considered a holy site to the Pueblo people. All right, so let's get started making our pop-up. First, what you're gonna to need to do is uh, download the templates and print them out onto cardstock. Cardstock is a little heavier than regular paper. So print out those templates onto cardstock. There's three pages. And you're gonna see two types of lines. You're gonna see a, a solid black line and you're gonna see a dotted black line. And um, the dotted black line, that's gonna be the score line where we're gonna make all the folds. So what you're gonna do is use a large um, paper clip and a ruler. And you're going to, you're gonna, you're gonna put the ruler up against each one of those dotted black lines and then you're gonna rub the edge of that uh, paper clip along all of those black dotted lines, just like this. By the way, these are not my hands. This is Kirsten's helping hands, that is, um, to make some of these cool videos. She's really awesome. Next, we're going to follow all the solid black lines and we're gonna cut out all the pieces with a pair of scissors. Be sure to use the pair of scissors that you're comfortable with. And you know, when you're getting around some of those corners, move the paper rather than the scissors. It's a lot easier to cut out all these pieces. Take your time, don't rush. You got plenty of time. I'll wait for you. And there we go. We've cut out all the pieces. Let's pre-fold some of these lines. So let's let's fold this main base page piece in the center, just like that. Then this piece here, this big piece, we're going to fold it down the center and fold these two little tabs right here and here. The reason why I like to do this is this kind of tells our paper um, which way to go. And since we scored along all those dotted lines, it's a lot easier to fold. Let's fold this piece like just like this. And we'll fold these little tabs there, like that, and like that. I make those noises to myself when I'm in my studio. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's keep folding. There we go, this piece here, just like that, and that. And then this last piece here gets three folds on it as well. You're gonna see on the base page that we're gonna be gluing these two and on some of the pop-up pieces there are some gray areas and they're the shapes of some of the tabs that you can see. So it's a lot easier to glue them into place. Now we're gonna use some of that glue, that craft glue. You can use like Elmer's glue or any sort of white um, craft glue. And we're gonna glue into place um, some of these pop-up pieces. Now look at this big piece here. See this right here? There's a little um, <clears throat> tab gray piece. See how that fits exactly? We're gonna go ahead and glue that onto that piece. And when you're using the glue, make sure to take your time squeezing the glue out of the bottle and not making like a huge puddle on your pop. Sort of, I sort of uh, paint it into place. Make sure I don't use too much. And then we position that tab right into place. Sometimes I'll fold it up just to see that it's positioned properly underneath. Make sure you don't do it too sloppy. It's okay if you make mistakes though. You can always pull it up and re-glue it on. So that piece is right in place when we glue it in. Let it dry for a minute. Let's go on over here. Let's take this base page here and we're gonna glue this, see this big tab here? We're gonna, when the, this piece here, you can see, see that shape? And this shape, those are exactly those two tabs. So we're just gonna put some glue in there, just like this. And then we'll be able to lay that tab right down on top of it. And make sure 
that that center piece in that mountain, that big pop-up piece, see that the bottom point of it? It points to the center of the base page. See how that goes? Now, the other tab fits right on top. The pop-up, this is a V-fold pop, but it's an actually, it's a tented V-fold because the pop-up is standing up. Look at that, that is the big mountain that is part of, that's actually the interior of the Grand Canyon that we're making. And see this tab here? And that, that tab goes right on that gray spot and it fits exactly. You can see the shape, so we're just gonna glue, put some glue right there. Now we just put some glue inside one of those little squirt bottles. You don't have to do that. It's just easier for us because then we can really control how much glue um, squirts out of there. Sometimes, you know, you overdo it and you get a huge puddle of glue and then all your pop-ups stick together. Look at that. So we've got those two pieces connected. Now let's take this piece here. Let's glue this piece on. See this tab here? It actually glues right there on the right side. So we're gonna put some glue in there on that little gray area. We're just gonna glue this little tab here and we're gonna glue it under. Look at how this is getting done, right? Just like that. Glue it into place. Just sort of pinch it. Now let's glue this bottom um, tab here. See, it sh the shape fits perfectly. So we'll glue this into place, it looks good. And we'll glue that right into place. Just like that. And now we have this last piece. Let's see, let's do the little tab first. We'll do the little tab, we'll glue it into place. See, there it is, right there. So we put some glue on it. And then we line up the tab with the piece. See, it goes up like that. Follow the shape of the tab. Pinch it into place, make sure it stays in place. Now you can decorate this pop-up as well. Now we're making it all white, but you can decorate it either before you assemble it um, and correct color it, or you can decorate it after using markers, crayons, um, anything you want. Um, I would not paint the pop-up because that would make it all wet, right? But you could use uh, colored pencils. Um, you can do anything you want to decorate your pop-up of the Grand Canyon. So we're gonna glue that one last tab into place, just like that, it fits the shape. Look at that, nice. Oh, and by the way, here's the cover and the fax. If you want, you can, you can glue on the fax inside the pop, so you have a little story or more fax, or if you want, you can write your own fax and put them inside the pop-up, wherever they can fit. Oh, look, they go right here just so you have a little bit of information about the Grand Canyon, or you can write a story about the Grand Canyon. You can do whatever you want. This is your pop. So look at that. Now we're gonna put the cover on. And we'll see, there's the cover. <clears throat> and that's gonna be a part of our big map. So that's why we have to put a cover piece on top of our pop. We're gonna build this gigantic map and the Grand Canyon will go onto this giant map that we glued together. And um, so we need, Part of that map is going to show on the outside of our little pop here of the Grand Canyon. Oh my God, world landmarks. I love, I love exploring the world. Even though right now with COVID, we can't go all these places. Look at that. But right now I can go to the Grand Canyon right here in my own pop. Hey, it's Matthew Reiner. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this, this video and making this pop. Um, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for our next learning unit in world landmarks. Bye-bye.